Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to, uh... Oh, fucking no! This is the first reaction of this music video. This is the first song that I haven't heard in order. We obviously got the three singles already, which should all be on the channel by the time that you're watching this. All the three singles I've heard, so we just listened to them on stream so I can get the, so I can get, like, the vibe of the album in order. But now this is my first song where I haven't heard a single second of it, haven't watched a single second of the music video. Guys, join us. We do all of our album reactions live. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Instagram. That's where I post when I'm going live mainly, but we do all of our album reactions live. So if you want to be a part of the chat right here, we have almost 200 people in chat watching this with us. Uh, join. I promise you it's a good time. And then secondly, join Patreon. You obviously aren't here. Patreon sees everything early especially album reactions and album reviews. You're gonna see every single song on YouTube just because they made a music video for every single song. But generally, you won't see everything and the videos are cut up completely on on YouTube. Uh, so consider joining us on Patreon, support the channel, support the team. You gotta support the team. <laughs> Seinfeld reference, y'all might be too young for that. Anyway, 21 Pilots, Midwest Indigo, let's get it. Now it's snowing. Hey, solid beauty influencer. I'm using this, this right here. This is my setting spray. Little golden retriever vibes. He said, hey. Let me tell you something. Do you know how, how you know how difficult it is to hit the snare drum on the upbeat, like and in rhythm? Like being offbeat on the upbeat is so difficult for some reason. At least for me, I, I like if I, can, I if I tap the table, I'll eventually lose beat and I'll end up on the downbeat. I'll lose tempo and end up on the downbeat. That's so difficult. So much. It's so simple. It seems like a simple thing to do, and obviously he can do it really well because he's a fucking pro. But yeah, that shit is hard. Midwest Indigo? Is Indigo blue? Am I tripping? Like Midwest Blues? Is that what we're saying? Like we're like we're sad in Ohio type shit? Scraping the windshield like I'm barely scraping by is crazy. Dogs make everything better. Oh yeah, this is nice, bro. This this is fire. <laughs> the aesthetic of the album is so different from the last. The all three albums, the last three albums, have all been aesthetically different. I mean, I, we haven't gotten through this album yet, but it's, Trench is still my favorite. But Trench to Scaled and Icy to this. Like com three completely different styles. It's like listening to Incubus. Every album from Incubus is a completely different sound, and that's what I'm getting from from them. And when I think back of the prior albums, like they're like almost every album sounds different. All of them. Also, is it me or are they in the street a lot? I feel like they're riding bikes in the street. They're driving in the street. They're pushing a tank of chlorine in the street. Oh. Family members? Chill out, man. We're right on time. Reaching out. Hey. Yeah. 
You make me sad and second guess myself is fired. It does that the album does have seem to have more like a punk rock. What would you call Scale Than Icy? Like, what is the aesthetic of Scale Than Icy? Because it's completely different than this. This is very punk inspired. Green Day, like we said earlier. I feel like Jumpsuit, not Jumpsuit. I mean, Jumpsuit is very rock inspired, like metal inspired. I feel like Trench is much more aggressive than this. Americana pop, that's fair. That's fair. 80s pop, synth pop. Yeah, that's all valid, but this is very much so... Like, it's not punk rock in the traditional sense, but you can tell it's like 21 Pilots style of that. It's, not, it's like soft aggressive, I guess you could say. Like, alternative aggressive. It's not like... It's not angry aggressive. It's more just so like, I'm high energy. It's like ADD aggressive for some reason. <laughs> So far, there's not a miss in my in my opinion. Backslide and Midwest Indigo are perfect back to back. Actually, next semester, Backslide, Midwest Indigo, these are three perfect tracks in a row. Like the first two are good, right? But in terms of aesthetic and the sound of the album, next semester, Backslide, Midwest Indigo, they all have similar sounds, but just different enough. What am I reading it? So like one to 10, if we had to go one to 10 so far, I'm giving it like, I'm probably giving it seven and a half, eight so far. Four tracks in, five tracks in.